On Saturday afternoon, Arsenal has the opportunity to widen their lead at the top of the Premier League table by five points as they travel to Leicester City. Last weekend, the Gunners had a remarkable 4-2 victory against Aston Villa, which enabled them to reclaim the top spot from Manchester City. Meanwhile, the reigning champions dropped points in a 1-1 draw away to Nottingham Forest. As a result, Mikel Arteta's team is currently two points ahead of Man City with an additional game in hand. By winning their match against Leicester City, Arsenal can extend their lead for a few hours at least before Man City's match against Bournemouth on Saturday evening. The Gunners have been training ahead of their encounter with the 2016 champions. How was the mood at London Colney and who has trained and in contention to travel to the Midlands? Before we delve into who was present and might make the squad, if you find value in this video, please subscribe, set notification, like, share for more quality Arsenal scoop and receive good luck in the coming days. Thank you. The obvious absentee was Gabriel Jesus. The Brazilian has suffered medial ligament damage. After a lengthy time sidelined, he was spotted running and back on the training pitch some weeks ago. However, Saturday will prove too early for him, with a return next month more likely. Oleksandr Zinchenko, who has been a key player for Arsenal, has had some occasional injury struggles. He was given a further day off to recover ahead of this weekend and should be back in contention to face the Foxes. Edin Kidia, who has been deputizing for the long-term injured Gabriel Jesus, did not participate in today's training. Nevertheless, it is anticipated that his absence is precautionary and he will be included in the matchday squad for the game against Leicester. Thomas Partey is still recovering from muscle discomfort and it remains uncertain if he will be fit for this weekend's match. According to Arteta, we have to assess him again. He had some discomfort, a little muscle discomfort. We have to assess him and see how he is. Saturday might come too soon for the midfield general. Given Jorginho's performance against Aston Villa, Arteta is more likely to stick with him. Even though the Italy international did not actively attend training today, he is expected to participate in the upcoming match. He was given a day off to allow for additional recovery time. Bukayo Saka got substituted in the second half of Arsenal's match against Villa due to some concerns over his condition. However, Arteta downplayed any injury speculation, stating that he's fine. Despite this, the young player has been receiving rough treatment from opposing teams, and Arteta acknowledged this fact by saying he got kicked quite a lot today again. But he's going to have to deal with that, not every week, but every three days and sometimes in training as well because it's his game, and teams are not foolish, and they want to stop him. That's why we need to protect him. He should be past fit for Saturday's game. Going by what we saw at training, the lineup could potentially look like this, Ramsdale, White, Gabriel, Saliba, Zinchenko, Zaka, Odegaard, Jorginho, Saka, Martinelli, and Kia. Arsenal must find a way to capitalize on their win at Villa. Defeat to Leicester City could see Manchester City go back to the top. Do you think the Gunners will extend their lead on Saturday? Let's us know in the comment below. If you are new to this family, please subscribe and like this video for more quality Arsenal scoop. Say up the Gunners!